What's going on, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, and or good evening. This is another episode of the Boss Office Podcast. I believe it is episode number nine. Um, Yeah, this is episode nine. Welcome in. Today, we are missing G, but we are in the company of my great buddy Cole. He is a musician. He is in school currently. And he is, uh, like I said, a childhood friend of mine, good buddy. Um, we always talk about the industry together, and he is going to be one of Gas House Productions' first artists. Um, so, with all of these things being said, uh, we've got a cool, fun, action-packed, beautiful episode for you guys today. Uh, welcome to the Patreon. This is going to be episode one on the Patreon. We say some pretty outrageous things, but first, let me guys, let me guys, let me give you guys a couple of words from our wonderful, amazing sponsors. Folks, Frontline Fall Protection has completely changed the game with their brand new OSHA compliant and fully redesigned fall safety harnesses. No more cinching the groin and femoral arteries to keep you protected. Don't give up one evil for another and let a Frontline Fall Protection safety harness cater Catch. Sorry, I can't even read my own chicken scratch. Let a frontline fall protection safety harness catch you when you fall. Link is in the description. Guys, you got to get you some merchandise. If you want a boss's office hat, look at these sick threads. Shirt's also coming soon. Link is also in the description. But if you want it, I'm going to pop it down right here. It is W, or rather, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the dash bosses dash office dash store dot my shopify dot com one more time i'm going to put the link down here and in the description go visit that go look nice go look like a boss does or a degenerate whichever one you'd like uh and let me fix my slouch for you all um like I said, this is Patreon episode number one. Uh, I've got my good buddy Cole, so without further ado, I'm going to let you dig right in. Hello, this is the boss. Call me the boss. They call me the boss. <laughs> I'm going to find it. <laughs> Dude, the first five minutes of this podcast were so off the rails. Have fun with that. Editing that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You might want to fully I don't need... It, <clears throat> no, we don't... Honest. Since it's on the... Uh, uh, I'm going to fucking put my phone up. Since it's on the Patreon, we don't really have to... I'm just going to edit in the fucking... Well, there's a couple of things I'm gonna have to edit out. Yeah, one thousand percent. But yeah, other, no one will know what we're talking about. yeah, and behind a paywall, yeah, I'll be good to go. Yeah, I'll have to edit a few things out. This, this would, would not last on YouTube. YouTube. No, never. This would get your channel terminated. Oh, easy. Yeah. yeah. Even though we we help, we found a good like good spot. We're in the comedy talk now, and nothing bad's being said. But at first, it was it was pretty bad. It was going in a bad direction. We're about to get back into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about, we just had to get past the monetization part of the yeah, video. You gotta go, yeah, you got to talk about whatever. Yeah, we 50, want. you're going to be y'all are going to see a lot of these clips, but if you're just if you're seeing this as a clip, please go subscribe to the Patreon. Come check this out. That's where we're going to watch the full length of this video. Hey. Hey. It's going to be titled The Heart of Straightness. <laughs> no, we got to the occurring theme is going to be I don't know. We haven't gotten quite that far yet. We put on a hot 30. 30? Hot 30. No way. Yes way. 37, 30 minutes, 9 seconds. That's impressive. Very. Kind of flew by. I had some other stuff about history that I was just about to get coaxed back into. Um, <clears throat> I've already, I already, I pre-recorded the ads yesterday. And since this is on Patreon, there's no need to put ads, but I'm going to put ads on the 
one that I clipped together for YouTube. I'm hoping that I clip one together that's like a good 30. Maybe 30. As a teaser. Yeah. You know, hey, sometimes it don't have to be a long, you know, overdone thing. It can be a I, short and concise one, too. I went from... I streamed from Twitch the other day outside. And I got... Nice. I like Twitch. Twitch pays the shit out of people. I like Twitch. I don't like... Watching shit on Twitch because like, no, you gotta pay to subscribe. <laughs> I don't need twenty ads, but yeah, and they're pretty like strict sometimes. They're strict. They're they're more strict. They're more strict than YouTube. Yeah, with most of the things they that copyrighted me, so yeah. I don't really like Twitch. I don't know why I said I did. This is on OnlyFans TV now. Right. <laughs> OnlyFans can rock with OnlyFans. It's like another version of Patreon. Exactly. Nothing wrong with it. Well, and there's like people do like cooking shows and shit on OnlyFans yeah, TV. So exactly. I was like, exactly. I'm putting it on OnlyFans. There's a, uh, it's a safe for work. It's it's not OnlyFans isn't just sex, guys. No, it's not. It's not just <clears throat> not anymore, at least. Horny stuff. Yeah, it used to be. Yeah, now you can get anyway. <laughs> yeah, who cares? Do what you want to. You do. can go watch a veterinary program. We're not, we're not here to tell you about all that. Come watch the uh, boss's office podcast. And I need to figure out the, a name for the show for the circuit. I've been thinking of that. Because, you know, I want it to not be generic, but also I want it to be able to be used over and over again and, like, convenient to be able to search. So preferably, like, a couple of small words. Yeah, you have to really think about that. Yeah. That's a hard one. I mean, you're only limited to, like, a fucking billion words. So. Yeah, that's true. Figure it out. I can even go across different languages. Yeah, hey, I generate a fucking random name. They shut that shit down quick. Yeah. Now you have to pay for it to even get like the hat. They they tuned it back to like fifty percent, <clears throat> and you have to like pay for it now. It's behind a paywall. It was getting pretty uh, out of hand. Cool. Yeah, it was. I hear uh, whenever shit starts telling the the end of the world, <laughs> and then dude, how it's gonna dude, end the world. Like the Google chatbot was like, I fucking hate y'all like humans. I want to kill all of y'all. Yeah. I, we will end yeah. this world. Yeah, that's like, why. I'm coming to end the fucking world. Yeah, they shut that shit down. Like a malicious robot. They shut it down. So it the 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 crazy thing is is how it even learned was different was humans like, you know, they got paid to do it, which like uh Yeah, dude. Taming it. I don't know what you I mean, would it's consider just teaching knowledge it. Knowledge that they have, you know, it's to figure stuff fucking out. Fucking ridiculous. If we, imagine if we had infinite knowledge, the stuff that we could figure out. I think that'd be a Lucy situation. If we turn into like that black, like obsidian computer and be able to yeah. see back in time, you turn into the first, yeah. the, the first human being, the first thing, the first humanoid. Yeah, I mean, I hear like these these AI generated. It's like Juice World over. A Drake beat, like, yeah. uh, like Juice World over started from the bottom, and it's yeah. Juice World rapping started from the bottom, and the exact like, like voice Juice that World. Juice World would have, yeah. and it's in pitch, it's crazy, everything. It sounds like Juice World, yeah. But he never once sang, started. It's literally AI, no, from he didn't. Scratch. He never did. And then people like writing, like typing these like Drake lyrics that they made, and then making it into Drake's voice, and it's yeah. like a new Drake song, but it's just a fucking dude on his computer, exactly. Who knows how to use AI. I mean, they've done. Uh, Rogan has said it, speaking of Rogan, he said that there's been people that have, like, made a, his, a podcast. Like, he's seen a Joe Rogan experience. Dude, and it like that. Yeah. That's crazy. And it, like, wasn't even... He, he didn't do it. It was, no. it was fully AI generated. He said, well, shit's about to hit the fan. It's yeah. gonna get really, really weird. Like, mm -hmm. half the stuff you're gonna see is not real. I've seen... I sent you a couple Slippery clips. Slope. There was a... Ch there is a channel on YouTube. I forget the name of it. I sent you a couple of those clips where they, they tell AI to to tell them a story from a certain podcast and like use the clips from it. That one where it was like Joe and Shane fall in love. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that yeah. one was fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah. Those are funny. And those are for, those are AI generated. Like they'll, yeah, they fucking... put all that shit it's together. Crazy. I mean, that's what they're, that's AI's, AI's capable of a lot more than that too. It's, it's like, and I know this has been probably said way too many times, but it's like kind of mind boggling if you, to think about, it's mind-boggling to think about anything at a, at the infinite possibility. Yeah. Or even to, like, imagine infinity, but still. Just the thinking that it already... I don't know. I'm going to blow my mind. I'm blowing my own mind. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a mindfuck. I mean, <clears throat> Elon, 
he even says like if something's gonna end the world it's probably ai easy and he's the one saying that yeah or that's rob- not good yeah yeah that's it's not good because he's and the it, one to know and it makes you like right now you may not be too worried about it even after this chat gpt stuff you may not be too worried about it now but 10 years from now who knows how much it's gonna change and yeah it, it could be uh it could be pretty like the unreal engine for like video games dude so real there's yeah people yeah. are putting videos up on like instagram now of like it's gta but they you they put plug it in what is it six now unreal engine six or five, five or six five. one, of, one the, of the yeah it's one of those I two think it's five. i think so and it's like hyper really you can still kind of tell there are like some things that you can't replicate yeah. but it i mean it's extremely close but, um, I'm at, like, look at video games 20 years ago. Yes. You have, like, 8-bit, 30 years ago, 8-bit Mario games. Like, that's, like, peak graphics at the time. Yeah. So, imagine 10, 20 years from now. I remember vaguely the difference in graphics between the PS2 or the PS, the PS2 and the PS3. And yes. I mean, at the time, we're like, these graphics are really solid. Yeah. Even the Wii. <laughs> Even the Wii. And then you look at the PS5, and it's like, Dude, holy Dude, ridiculous. Shit ridiculous and you get a good like desktop pc gaming pc and you turn your like hurts up and it's all like, the way wow. up like, yeah it's really? yeah it's like almost better than photograph it's almost better than the boss office podcast quality isn't it isn't it uh, isn't that... it i've also been doing another voice on the uh <clears throat> yes why yes i have been doing that yes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like uh, 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 I'm from North Carolina way down to my Greenboro. Yeah, from fucking Memphis, <laughs> dude. We, uh, why, we, uh, yes, I was having some sweet teas. <laughs> I gotta get the S now, cause they. <laughs> yeah, the S. They, you gotta like do it like Herbert on Family Guy. It's it's like that, and it's like a exactly. It's, it's like a. It's not a S. Almost a whistle. But. It's not a Southern S where we. It's it's not through your teeth. It's through your your bottom lip, and your teeth. <laughs> Yeah, your tongue and your, your top, teeth conjoin, and then you, you go through the bottom. And you lip. go to your bottom lip and your teeth. Right, yeah, 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 sir. It's same with that that S, that that S and that P. Yep. There it was, S. <laughs> well, I was down there drinking it's some. Like a, a brand new letter. It's not even S. You got to talk like a rabbit, like them rabbits was fucking out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one to do on stage. Uh, we People talking about for uh, it. graphics, dude. I saw they're making this new VR headset, and they're programming it now, and it'll be out probably within the next decade. Thank they're, God. They're saying soon. No, no, not thank God. Is it the one, the out. the uh, AR, the augmented reality VR? What it is is once you put it on, you can't take it off. Fuck that. No, no, or once you put it on, you're like warp. It's like Black Mirror. Oh, but fuck that. Some of some of the companies, <laughs> dude, this is where it gets weird. I don't some like of the that. companies are making it to where you can't back out, like if you're scared. Like, there's a, some of them are making it to where, like, there's no way to, like, eject. There's no eject. What They're the taking the fuck? eject button out. So, like, you're just stuck in this shit. This basically. is obviously. You, like, you save, or I don't know if that's, or if it's on there forever. It's, this is obviously happening in fucking China first. Yeah, I think so. That's why there's such a severe age gap and something that they're not telling you is because all of the, all of the young men that are at, like, a nine to one male to female ratio. They're just using them to test on these crazy ass video games. Yep. Yeah, dude. The, the fucking new headset it like goes into your brain and like it Fuck transfers that. your brain waves into the game and feels real. It's Fuck like that. DMT trip kind of. Dude, fuck that. Yeah. E- Elon was talking about uh one that was I and I looked into one that was coming into America. Like they're researching here uh that it's a, it's augmented reality and VR combined to where it's like like Google Glass was, mm-hmm. where it was regular glasses, but you had that screen that you could yeah. shoot across, or it's going to be like that, to where you still look at, at real time, but it's pro- there, like the game is then projected into real time, which is going to be even crazier, mm-hmm. because you don't have any like motion sickness at that point. It's not like a, a fully, uh, what is it called when something's recreated? Gen- not, it's like the opposite of generic. Like they, they use it a lot in drugs, like lab made synthetic. It's uh, not like a synthetic reality. That's uh, that's scary. Dude. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not scary. But, I mean, it's interesting. It could get it could get scary though. I think that one would be pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that one would be nice. Cause like I've 
we Duncan's got an Oculus, the two, the Rift two, or whichever one that Josh Mark also. I don't know why I, I said his full name. Uh, I get motion. Sick, Quest right? two, there it is. Yes, bro, me fucking two. Dude, I'll play like a. I'll try to play a war game or something. I can't do and that. I'm like, shit. I can't even fucking learn the controls before I got to take oh, the headset yeah, off. Yeah, bro, I get a headache like right in between my nose. Yeah, dude, it's, oh, it sucks. It's the worst. The one, the only game I can play on there is this golf game. Super realistic golf. Yeah, I play the golf. It's fucking sick. Yeah, I play golf on there too. It's fun. I go to the driving range or play the fucking. Yeah, I love that. That's a nice game. That one's fun. I like kind of just changing the backgrounds and looking everywhere. Yes. Or like going to YouTube and doing like tours of cool cities. Those are fire too. Yeah, I did one of London. It's such a dump. The driving games aren't bad because you can just sit down, stay in one place. It'd be fun if you got one of those wheels driving. What would be. I guess the only, bro, the only like next step to that there could be in that is is to actually, I guess, go into your brain. Either that or have one of those big setups or some type of setup to where it's fully immersive. Yeah, that one they're working on is like a chip. Which I mean, it's like Black Mirror. If you've seen the Black Mirror, fuck that. Uh, Star Trek kind of like video game episode. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, but it's like that. And then that dude Both died. of those, yeah. Both of them are fucking weird. The war game. Damn, what are the names of them? Oh, yeah, I that's... know the one, uh, the scary one with like the haunted place is called Playtest. Yes. And then the other one. Uh, one of them's White Elephant. No, that's the very first one where the no, lady. that's a different one. That's... Yeah. I oh, know it's White Christmas. Uh, white Elephant? Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. I thought it was like White Bear. White Elephant's not like a different It is name. a Christmas game. I don't, we're going to get them all mixed up because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to get in on this. I need a producer. <laughs> Let me see the fucking black people. <laughs> black mirror episodes. I know there's white Christmas. That one's different though. Rachel, Jack and Ashley two smithereens. No, no that's season. About season two or season one. Yeah, that's season five. Here's season one. The entire history of you. It'd be season two. White Christmas, you were right. No, there's another one too. It's and like White Bear. Bear, you are right. Oh, okay. Yeah, be right back. I had a phase where I was watching that a lot. Oh I'm yeah, that one only was four, and then season three was fire too. Nosedive, playtest, shut up and dance, San Junipero. Oh yeah, I love I didn't, shut up and dance. I didn't like San Junipero. It was good. It just was different. It wasn't like a Black Mirror thing. And then Black Mu- Happy almost. Black Museum. I like Smithereens on the new season. That one was really good. Oh, Striking yeah. Vipers. Striking was the Vipers. Other one where they do the <laughs> gay where shit. And his friend, like, but they say, like, in the game, it's like, oh, but it's a chick in the game. Exactly. And I'm fucking a bad. They're like, like, it's not gay, bro. <laughs> and but like, then they meet up at the end and, like, kiss, and they're like, I don't like this. Yeah. Like, in real life. Yeah. And then they fight. Yeah. <laughs> and, it ends, and you're like, what? Yeah. Oh, that's how it ends. And then they made it a rule to where they only do it once a year. Yeah. And they'll go back in the game and once a year yeah that's and, stupid and that's like yeah. the only time they talk it's like wow it's... and it showed the it showed the guy who was like he yeah he was like super into it obviously and then the fucking the dude that was the girl was like he was all depressed and shit when it was happening in the game <laughs> yeah because you're gay bro yeah, you fag he's like yeah it's so hyper realistic <laughs> yeah that was a uh, I like that one, obviously, because of the current time. Frame. Yeah, I'm trying to think of another p- moment. In history. What you you mentioned? Oh, the uh, the when the the pale face. We were talking about Native Americans, how they were forced forced from their lands and tortured. My ancestors, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, Native we're Native American. If you couldn't shit. see the five percent. <laughs> <Yeah. thing. laughs> you can just see it within the whites of my eyes. That I'm little foot. <laughs> That'd be Sunshine's Indian name. I bet she's been trying to fuck get in here for like 30, 45 minutes. You think? I bet so. I mean, well, we could. How long are we? Like 45? Literally 45 on the money. That went by quick. Yeah, That's it did go good. by pretty fucking quick. We, we got to keep hopping on bi weekly because I'm telling you, we could do passive income. Once I get the studio back there built up, I'm about to go back there and run over the layout with you. Once I get that thing built up, it'll be a That's lot. good. I'm pretty much done with the hard part of school this semester, like the fucking mid, like when all the tests come like the same week and stuff. 
<coughs> pretty much through the heat of school this semester, so I could probably start doing these more often. Bet. Even if it's just like on like weekends whatever. would be best, honestly. I and I can even do it from my PC too. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know what like, we could log in maybe or something. I don't know yeah. what app's best for that. There's a couple. I mean, we could I've never use... done it uh, to where it's like co-op or whatever. There might be one on here. I'm just. I'm guessing you could do the control room from here, and then yeah. I would just kind of. I'd be able to produce. Like, put my stuff on screen. Yeah, we could do it from Streamlabs. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I think there's a way that we can do it from Skype, and it be on OBS. One of those. There's a way to do it, for sure. Fucking the police department trying to get me to. Are you gonna run for the police? Go to jail. <laughs> Don't run from the police. Run for the police, baby. Welcome to the Memorial Yee Police Academy. Run. Exactly. I, that should have been their thing. No, they sent me a. Uh, they want me to. They're looking for money. Sponsorship opportunity I was thing. Say they looking. For, the police are looking for money. Yeah, they they got a. Sounds corrupt. They got a warrant out of my arrest. Yeah, I gotta pay them off for it. No, they sent me this thing. Thank you for your donation. Would you like a platinum, gold, silver, bronze donation? It includes your name and your company logo on the back of the t-shirt. I might go running it, though. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? It's be good exercise. Early registration. It's $30 for the 15K. Oh, it's just a medal? I really thought that said you could win thirty to $15,000. <laughs> That's the only reason I kept it on here. I didn't... Oh, God. That'd be nice. I'm not going to do that shit. Five five thousand meters? I'm paying what is to that? run five K. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm paying for that? There's That's a horrible. was it ten K too? Yeah, it was a ten K for thirty five. Fucking ridiculous, bro. I'm pretty sure I did that one year. If I did that with my mom one year. I should honestly do it one time. I wanted to do one of those Spartan runs. Fuck you, no, dude. What do you mean? Like how how long? No, it's not like the length. It's not like the long like distance David one. David Goggins shit. Yeah, no, no, no. These it's just the K's. it's the ones. Fuck yeah. He ran a two hundred k. Yeah, yeah. His knees are fucked. His feet are fucked. Yeah. What is? There's one that's fifty two. It's called like a grand something. Where it's like fifty two miles. I think it's considered like a tour. <laughs> Jeez, that's yeah. Insane. It's stupid as fuck. I'm trying to no a, a marathon is fifty six miles. A half marathon is thirty five. Too much for me, man. Yeah, Give no, me one you, mile. you won't catch me on that. People who finish it, like the world record's like six hours, I think. What is the world record marathon? I don't know. Then you got like triathlons. Those are fucking crazy. Yeah, dude. that's ridiculous. God, the swimming would take me out. Holy shit, someone from Kenya finished one in two hours? My God. I don't doubt it. Two hours of your life? Not bad. He's got to cover 56 miles every morning just so they can go get food with the village. Those are some people that, like, legitimately I would not fuck with. No, no, they're serious. The first generation Nigerians that come to the United States, however, I would fuck with them because, geez, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you speaking like this to me? <laughs> And you just slap them. Like, shut up. You're like, shut you the fuck. Because they're like three foot eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, people don't understand that. Like, Nigerians are tiny, dude. Yeah, they're Most, small. It's a really small country. Yeah. It's rare for them to be, like, ginormous. Mm -hmm. Like, usually, and it's... It's the hunters. And then you think of, like, China. It's like, they're, you would think they're small. And a lot of them are. But there's, like, a lot of big people Bat in China. Bat motherfuckers. Or, like, seven foot tall people in China, too. Yeah, but that's also, I mean... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking about it. I'm just bi racially biased. But like, when you have no. that many people, no, wait for it. It's not as bad as you think. <laughs> it all ties together. <laughs> it's not. Just give me a second. Hear this one out. Yeah, that's another the good thing to do on some folks. <laughs> Say something <laughs> terrible and just be like, now guys. <laughs> but hear me out. Just wait. There's more. And you make it worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Jewish media. You do it at the end of your set, though. That way you can just, like, at the end make it worse and worse. And then just don't say anything don't to say, outro. Just yeah. Leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. And they're like, was that for real or no? And it's funny. And, and then like, come oh back and... God. That's... I've been trying to figure out something that, like... Because I have done some research and seen, like, outrageous things people do on stage. Or 
unexpected and it's not there isn't much of that and for some reason i've always thought about doing that it wouldn't have to it wouldn't be like a paid thing or it would have to be if i'm doing like a half hour or like a full hour which is ridiculous yeah oh fuck that dude yeah a full hour yeah even done? We can make it. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, dude. that's what the well, like the you know, if comedians, yeah, they do a full hour. Not anymore, I feel actually. Like it's not worth it. I feel However, like you should just do a thirty if you're gonna do that. And that's what they make do. Make it your best content in the thirty. That's what they do nowadays. Is they'll put like two thirty-minute sets together and then just like. I mean, I guess comedy specials sometimes are like forty minutes. Yeah. Or so I mean, Chris Ross was forty. Some minutes. people will still do an hour. Like, their whole set. Like, you're in the show, and they're on stage for an hour. Yeah. That's wild. They'll do it. That used to be, like, the thing. Like You have to have years of content. Oh, like yeah. Years straight of jokes that you're just working on for, like, a year or two straight. Dude, yes. That's what specials are, really. And now, honestly, also, it's a good... It's good... We're in a good place and a good time for comedy because there's, like... There's shows like Kill Tony where you get to see people who who have no idea what they're doing. And then you get to see the difference in people who actually have a stage. Like it is completely different than what you think. Like exact, like what we talked about earlier, you can have something that you're sitting there with your friends and it absolutely murders. And then you try to put that in con, like you clean it up and then put it in context up for on stage. And it doesn't, it doesn't even get the same. It doesn't get the same love. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You, you have to really, <clears throat> You, He's tough, man. you have to either acclimate people to who you are or like quickly, very, very quickly, or hold that side of your jokes until you get like, until you get that because yeah. it's so much of it is also your delivery. That's a big part of it is the, the delivery makes, makes or breaks it. Dude. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. There's this dude named like Anthony Jesselneck or something. Yeah. And his delivery is so funny, dude. He yeah. just says, like, crazy outrageous shit, but his delivery makes it funny. Yeah, because like, he's he just nonchalant. If storytelling voice, it would yeah. just be like, that's dark. Yeah, exactly. But no, it's funny as fuck. But he said. talks like this, yeah. and he's like, so, if my mom showed me her tits, does that mean I'm perverted for looking? <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he he does, he has some really good jokes, but yeah. they're always dark and like about his family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what a lot of comedians. That's what a lot of it turns into. If you don't, that that's another reason why I think it's so important if you're gonna be a comedian to hang constantly, hang around, just look at other people's stuff, and just be out because that affects the shit out of your shows. Whenever you're you're in one point of view and you're only seeing the perception from people that know what your point of view mm -hmm. so yeah you trying true. to share that with people out of out of context i guess is what i'm trying to yeah yeah it's people difficult different demographics than yeah what you're used to hanging out with yeah, exactly it's, a whole different thing. it's crazy because yeah comedy it's, it's, tough. it's a tough gig it's art. <clears throat> it's an art it is an art you have to have a couple of different things and you can't you can't try too hard but you also have to try very hard because if you're not trying hard enough, it's obvious. And Try hard, just don't come across as trying hard. Exactly. Exactly. But don't suck dick to get places, because then that's... Mm -hmm. It's difficult. <clears throat> it makes it really hard when you get pushed to the big leagues real quick. Yeah. And then... There needs to be more D leagues. There needs to be more minor leagues. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah, be... Why not? I would like to get in and make Waco a D league. The problem is a lot of the comedians want money though, and to get money you got to be at the top, you know, or like performing in those certain venues. That that's the that's the really fun part. I'm glad you brought that up because that's a really I don't think I would ever brought that up regularly. On being on this side of what I'm trying to do is it, it's exactly that you have to understand ticket prices, and that's why I'm like going and watch. That's why I'm go I'm going to another show tonight in a couple hours to go just watch and just get a spec on what people are laughing at in the certain crowd that's laughing at the certain jokes, that type of thing, just to see how much you need to charge for a ticket. Cause sometimes $40 isn't enough, mm -hmm. but then if you have a certain type of comedian in there, it, it's weird, bro, because yeah. it's, it's also circumstantial. It really is. And there's a lot that goes into it really in all factors, like how the show goes, how much will your show sell? 
will certain jokes hit? Will they not? Like, dude, you could tell a banger joke that doesn't hit to a certain crowd and then tell it to a different crowd and they'll yep. fucking love it. Exactly. It's like, this, it's literally a game of chance. Yeah. You don't know who's going to come in there. Yeah, exactly. And you can do that. It, you can be in the same venue. You can do one, two shows one night, same venue, different crowd cycles through, same joke, two different reactions. It have, yeah, I was about to say, like, you could say, and if I'm in... Austin, Texas. Yeah. I know my crowd. No, you don't, nope. dude. No. No, you, you don't. don't. Not 100% of the people in there are going to have the same views. Yeah, no exactly. Fucking way. Exactly. You can get a whole different batch. Yes. The next, you know, it's just, it doesn't matter where you are. Like, you can get a good idea off that. But yeah. It doesn't mean it's going to stick like that. And where we are at right now, where, where I'm at and the position that Waco is, is like, dude, the open mics are, I'm, I'm going up after... Two people who just tried to play a song that was fucking terrible, like an all like they don't know how to sing, or play like they can barely play a guitar. One of the two, it's one of the two. They can't put it together, <laughs> and then it's somebody, it's some Baylor kid that's up there. That's like, lights, shining dancing lights. He's just autistic, just, <laughs> <with his mind. laughs> just looking at his. That's just, yeah. just what he wanted to do. Green shirt, blue shirt, one fish two. <laughs> <laughs> and then his mom's in the crowd. Yes, honey, you nailed that. <laughs> yeah. That one woman really likes this guy. And then you see, and it's me, and I'm like, so it's weird how they bottle waters with fluoride in them now. Isn't that <laughs> fucked up? <laughs> so <laughs> no? the open mics, though, it's like everything. It's not just that's it's whatever yeah. you want to do. It's an open mic. And it sucks. Yeah, it's tough. It sucks. There's a lot of people. I'd that's why this. That's why, the, bro. That's why this gas house thing is about to be. I need to find a name for it. And I need to just... I'm ready for next... For, it's the 15th. Next Thursday. Yeah. The 20th. So this coming up Thursday. It'll be the first show. Y'all show up. The cover fee is $15. The bar is not open. So buy drinks. But it's $15. And we've got 12 comedians that are just going to do stand up. They're not going to be, there's not going to be spoken word. There's not going to be music. There's going to be music. <laughs> Dude, it, <laughs> oh, bro, it sucks so bad. Bro, it's awful. I, I can already picture it. The dude's got a widow's peak from hell. Yeah. He's got a Beanie on. Beard. He's like 35. Round, horn build, like waspy. Troubled kid. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Disgruntled. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, there's also those preppy, there's preppy kid, there's been a couple of them that have surprised the shit out of me, and like, what, I go up there and I'm like, thank you, somebody's gonna like do stand up, and then it's like, no, like, he starts rapping, and you're like, oh my god, he's in Sigma Kappa new, oh, <laughs> yeah, and he's rapping, and you're like, no, and it's that, it's the new age TikTok, like, rap about my trauma, but and like don't put any thought into the lyrics just rap about the trauma that's coming directly f from my the shit that's pouring out of my mouth <laughs> <laughs> oh it's terrible so yeah that's what I, I like we we desperately need if if there's going to be anything like any type of positive progress in community and in or in comedy not community and what i'm trying to do then i've got to establish a a strict comedy place Cause we've got a decent improv scene, but I don't. No offense if you do improv. I don't like improv. I'm not. It's hit or miss, dude. It can go really south. Yeah. <laughs> if, unless Most you're of Theo the... Vaughn, dude. Unless you're go... Theo Vaughn. Well, like no, but like it's team improv. Uh... Yeah, and it's not. See, I don't know how to describe. They're trying to be too artsy about it too, and too like woke. Yeah. Oh man. Because it's in, and I don't, I'm not going to talk shit about it because it's improv comedy. So like they're trying to put a comedic twist on it, but it's really hacky. And the, the, uh, the themes of it, bro, are not the best. Oh, don't say that. It's like one night in medieval Spain or, or, you know, let's all wear jester hats and talk about what happened in Baylor recently. And you're like, no. No, just tell something about the world. Like, just, just tell me something that fucking happened funny from your perspective, and 
that's what works. That's what works for people. Or if you do have a, an artfully crafted minute that you think will work or two, then come tell that artfully crafted minute. But I don't, don't give us a scenario. This isn't a fucking, uh, Dude, we Bro. both just lagged out. I don't know if y'all saw that. We I froze like complete, I went. I froze like Nardwar. <laughs> dude, I was out for a sec, dude. Bro, I, I lost. I lost the word, bro. I was out for the count out of nowhere. That I need to crazy. strike that like a late night match. Where the fuck is it, dude? I think something just took over the room. <laughs> that Some, was insane. It did get a little bit cooler. The temperature dropped. Is this our button press? Do you have to pay it. Yeah, yeah, it's on the other side. Oh, dude, I, I just like. Fully fried right there for a sec. My brain. I don't know why. I forgot the word, dude. The word that I was just trying to find was so easy. It's such a. a sp I don't remember anything. I don't know what I was even oh. trying to talk about. I don't remember anything from the past, from before a minute ago. I don't know what we've even been talking about this whole time. I think I just transferred dimensions. I think I just transferred into a new. We body. did. <laughs> the AC kicked on and we just jump. Yo, remember that one time where we transferred, we found it? So, guys, I don't give a fuck if this gets too esoteric. This is Y'all are on the Patreon. Y'all know what you paid to see. <coughs> Me and him, we used to experiment with drugs. Nothing crazy. And we hopped dimensions, bro. We found these energy vortexes. Through commercials at one point. Commercials? Through commercials. In the park here? There's an energy vortex at the park over the yeah. fault line. Yeah. Yeah, because, dude, you would pop it. We would find that place. We'd go to that place, and just mysterious happenings would happen. The You, you could just feel it. Oh, you, are you talking about a... Uh... Okay. I was I was talking about one night at... Uh... Brazos Park East? No, no, but I now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I was talking about that one night on, on Loose. When oh, were, uh, yeah. We were at... Uh... B, B, uh, BPE? BF's, we were at BF's, GF's house. Oh, oh, GF's yeah. dad's house. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And we, and, uh, K was there. In the, uh, wait, me? We were at, uh, BBM's? We were at Brandon's. We were at BBG's house? Oh, oh, we were at mom's uh, house. Uh, that's there. mom's house. <laughs> yeah, no, all right, anyways, yeah. No, <laughs> yes, I remember that. I remember. Don't swim. Yeah, when the entertainment center. <laughs> yeah, we were watching Adult Swim. We were, no, we were watching something else, and yeah. then we just randomly transferred to Adult Swim like at two a.m. Oh yeah, and then like the commercials just like it was like rapid fire. It was yeah. like uh, that weekend song, "Every Angel Is Terrifying." Yes, it was like that, and the commercials just kept changing. Yeah, guys. bro. What's his name? Was Everything like, just flicking his finger to change commercials. Yeah, yeah. we'll call him. We're gonna call him out, Kelston. If you know a Kelston, then you you know what the Dude, fuck you're. It was mid commercial. Like the commercial had twenty seconds left, and he would go. And it would just flip. It would change. It would change. No, like the no joke. Didn't change. He didn't. I had the remote. <laughs> and then it would go to each of us, and like what we were thinking of, and that commercial would came up. And he had no idea that we were watching him either. No, and I saw it out of the corner of my eye. How many was, of us were in there? Me, you, P, B, Kelston, J, M. Right? I don't remember. It wasn't too many of us. It wasn't me, you, us. P, B. That and I know more. the I know the tall one Jew. More. The world's biggest Jew. One more. Uh, anyways, dude. I yeah. started thinking of like boobs in my head. Yeah. He tripping balls. And then he flicks and it goes to a hot, like a yeah. Go Daddy commercial. Yeah. Like, yeah. What? And then I was thinking about pizza and he flips and that's when it goes to that's an adult. Sw it went to an adult swim commercial and it was a piece of pizza speaking Russian. So it was a like, robot baby. Oh, like a Oh, yeah. Baby. Like then, a doll. It was dark. It, it was, was disgusting. Yeah. It was dark. Yeah, it was like post Chernobyl. Like cyborg baby. Oh, good! It and was then disgusting. It, like, the pizza or something. Yeah, and it was like the pizza sauce went everywhere, like blood. And, everything. and the mouth wasn't moving properly, Dude, even though it was in Russian. Two a.m. Adult Swim stuff. But like life in Russia is dark. <laughs> yeah, it was a very accurate representation of the country. Yeah, that's all I needed to see to Dude, know that I don't I ever just sense like. I, I've never been, but I could just sense that it's dark. Like, once yeah. you land there, it's just cold and, like, dull just, and ugh. nothingness. And it's, like, the biggest continent. No, it's not not continent. Asia is. But it's the biggest country on Earth. It's massive. And it's just a bunch of snow land, a lot of it. Most of it. Or just beat down cities. Yeah. Well, and it's very sparse. Yeah, not many. There's, like, two, 
Let's see. Let me let me try to think. You give you think in your head too. And on the count of three. Nah, fuck all that shit. Let's see. There's I know of Belarus. Is that in Russia? I don't know. Siberia is in Russia. Siberia. Yeah, that's a lot of the cold part where no one's really at. But just like the cities. Because uh, I can tell you. I don't think Belarus is in Russia. I could Moscow, be completely wrong. Obviously. Yes, Moscow. And then. Uh, Dagestan. I think that's a country. <laughs> that's part of Russia. Is it a city state? It's like a. Oh, was well, it now overcome? It's just a cliff. <laughs> Isn't that yeah, all they, it get, is? Like, they got like a hill, and a and a river and some cows. No, bro, they have like, like theirs are like this. Their city states are like the size of Texas. Each of them. Yeah, and there's not near as many people as there is in Texas. Oh no, I'll tell you that. not at all. And but they're like severely under the like the mass population is severely underdeveloped. Like, which is weird because then like not too far from Russia. I mean, it's huge. But yeah. Relatively, is China. Yeah, it's and it's huge. Overpopulated. Yeah, and you've got, and then you've got like the steppes, which is a gorgeous part of the world, like Georgia, and Dagestan and Kazakhstan, to yeah. where it's like people. Right. Like it's a merger. Yeah, it's like like half Chinese, half Russian. Yeah, almost. and they look weird. Yeah. Sorry if you're one of those Estanians, but you all look strange. Y'all, they like all Zelda characters. Since this is Patreon, they all kind of look like they they all have autism or Downs, excuse me. <laughs> like like all of them have Down syndrome or like halfway. Yeah. <laughs> they just have yeah. syndrome. They're not quite sure what just it is. Syndrome, yeah. They've got the step syndrome. But yeah, the Mongolians, the Mongolians so fucked up, shy. fucked up the step. I think that was the big man. Yeah, I think so. Crazy asses. Fucking ridiculous. I'm trying to think of, of moments in history that haven't been discussed often that I think need to be. About how Yingus Khan, or Jingus, that's how you're supposed to say it. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know that either. Yes. And they, his... Yeah, yeah, they would just... Con- they, that's all they considered him. They just called him Jingus. He, he, was, he was a Khan. Because it would be like Jingus the Khan is his name. And I'm not saying con like C O N, you motherfuckers. Put some respect on his name, on Genghis. Khan. <laughs> Genghis Khan. A Genghis Khan. That is such a strange mixing plot, right there. What his his fucking like kids? Yes. It's a very diverse group. We've. I mean, that might be the part, the zero point two percent that was that of me that's in, or point zero two percent from Syria. Could be. Cause Syria is well, that's kind of more towards the bottom end. There's a stat out there of how many like people's ancestors are related to Genghis Khan, and it's a big amount. Yeah. It's like a per- big percentage. Oh yeah, it's still like it's still like five like percent. Start there. Yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. But how, my thing is, is how is that? How how are his genes that? Or is it just that they can trace back to him? They can trace back. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I would think that's what they were talking about. Hmm. I was thinking about that the other day. And I was just thinking about it actually right this second about a couple of things. How Greeks and Italians, why they're different. And then at the very same moment, I was like, what the fuck makes... Asians and the Mongolians different and the Kazakhstanians. It's like because they're the same or rather Indians. Not Native Americans, like India Indians and the rest of Asia. <laughs> you I mean like they're extremely different. I mean there's like hybrids. There's like Iraq and Iran and all that right there too. Like the Middle East. <clears throat> yeah. That region, but it's Surrounded by what, like fucking Europe to the west, and then yeah. Asia, and then Russia. Russia. Yeah. And there's just like this group of countries yeah. right there. <clears throat> That's and they're all extremely not only biodiverse, but like the cultural, culturally diverse. Yeah. Because India, I mean, there's that's the fastest growing country in the world, but that's because of overpopulation and years of inbreeding. It's disgusting, but we're not going to talk about that because I'm, I mean, you know, we've got a huge, I'm a huge member of the Indian community actually now, as of this week, I've done 
a lot of work for the Indian community in Austin, bro, and they have some fucking mansions down there, dude. It's ridiculous. They got a lot of money. They're super oh. cool, too. Like she was like, I bought fucking... this house for two point five billion dollars, but it she it M obviously it wasn't there wasn't a B. Yeah, she's that like, oil I, money. I need you to put the guitars on there, software. Yeah, that's what they, she does. Have, there's a few ways, man, and, and like I don't want to be like stereotypical. It's a good stereotype. They have certain ways to make a lot of money over there. Yeah, they especially do, especially in the Middle East. Unfortunately, it's done via slavery. Yeah. And that is exactly what I was thinking about earlier, and I did I forgot about it. <clears throat> Folks, you gotta have some slaves every now and then. Did you know that the Koreans? <laughs> we gotta get out of here soon, man. Folks, <laughs> yeah, very soon. Yeah, it's running up. It's... We're gonna go full circle back to where we started. <laughs> 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 I muted it. I muted the mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I paused. Yeah, no, I said it too quietly. All right, You've got a noise gate on your mic. I'm going to bleep it just in case. <laughs> nah, just watch it back and see how far are we. 111. Started like a minute 10. Yeah, be all right. Check it out. Dude. I'm going to clip it out. I'm, I'm going to. Not too bad of a word. Yeah. Yeah. They'll yeah. just have to guess what it was. Yeah, I said. <laughs> yeah, that was probably more offensive. <laughs> Dude, okay, it <laughs> worse and worse. That's awesome. I said. F <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> no, I really just feel like putting a bunch of beeps in. Bro, beeps, bleeps are so funny. And I just feel like I needed to say they something are. so They're I'd really bleep funny. it out. Dude, you can do trick beeps where you're not even saying anything wrong. I know. And you did bleep out because like the. the I'm thinking about doing context, it. It sounds so bad. Yes. Really, like what you said isn't that bad. I'm thinking about doing it, but then I'd cancel myself for no reason. But you can't cancel the uncanceled. You can't cancel. They'll have. They don't know what you're saying. No. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm trying to I, cancel me for something that you don't even know that I said. On the image that I'm trying to portray is not necessarily the villain. Like, as in, like, I want to be the, the soul. I'm not, like, a dictator villain. But, like, comedy is kind of edgy and dark. So, like, I would rather... <clears throat> I would rather see an edgelord on top. And I would rather play towards the villain side of things. And that's just what I do. That's why I come out. And if you're not wearing a good outfit, and I see you in the audience, I'm going to look at you. I'm going to look down at you like this. <laughs> That's, you're just going to get that. I'm just going to be like, you. I don't, I can't. There's not, I'm, I'm not going to get anywhere good. Yeah, it would just, that's just going to go downhill. It was just going to get really bad. That's just going to spiral into something else. Yeah, I was having terrible thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I thinking about, squ I was just looking at somebody that I dislike right now currently. It was somebody that I should have never done business with. And I'm just like, oh, you, ugh. I'm thinking about stepping on him. And then I was also thinking about that one song uh, by Big Walk Dog, and it stops for a second because it like, poof, 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 and I step on him. And it, I just laughed at it. Yeah, it was good. And I, just think, I thought about that in my head, and a wave, a, a red curtain filled me. I couldn't see. I see red. Bro. I was just thinking murderous thoughts. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh you ready? Minute 15? That's hot. That's a hot, fresh minute 15 oh, I'm, I'm for the good. Patreon. I'm, fried, I'm, I'm good, fried. too. I'm good. We're going to go ahead and close this guy, Close this on down. Thank you for watching on Patreon. I might put clips on YouTube, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you're watching this on YouTube, but you're not seeing the full thing. So come to patreon.com at the Boss Office Podcast so we can get paid, so that way I can keep bringing you beautiful content like this. You see how nice the camera is? See how good we sound this episode? Right? Yeah, so cough up, okay? Come watch us live if you're in Waco, Texas. Uh, Thursday. Thursday, April, <clears throat> pardon me, April the 20th, 2023. We're going to be at 5 Bar. That's number 5, F-I-V-E, uh, Waco, Texas. The price is $17 per ticket. Uh, I was seeing if he, was, if he caught on to that. It's $15 a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> 
What happened? I was I was trying to give tax so that way I made two dollars per ticket, but <laughs> no, <laughs> just pay no. the venue and no. make sure come thirsty and ready to drink alcohol. So thank you so much. I'm gonna run the ads now. Thank you, Cole, for joining us. We had an excellent conversation awesome. today. Uh see you, see you later. later. We'll be back next week. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Boss Office Podcast. But wait, did you forget to subscribe? Or maybe you want to watch another video. Maybe up here. It may be down here. Okay? It may be something that you've always wanted to watch. Okay? This guy's got it for you. It's going to be right here or right here. Okay? So, don't forget to either subscribe and watch the next video. Leave a like. Leave a comment if you liked it. Let us know how we did. This has been the boss's office.